Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to use a one-shot timer to control colors of LED lights on a Novation launch control. In this example, I will take a note on input from one of the buttons on the launch control and will set a one-second timer. Every time another note on message comes in before the one-second timer trips, it will increment a global variable GA and restart the timer. When the timer finally trips because of no note on messages being set within the one second interval, the timer will look at the value of GA and set a different color LED on the launch control and then reset the value of GA to zero. In this way, I can control the color of the LEDs depending on how many button presses I do within the one second interval. I've already started a project and I've set my input to the launch control for the button press and my output to launch control for the LEDs. I then go to my first preset and I set a note on message as the trigger and I capture the note value as GB in a, as a global variable. Then I increment GA by 1 each time I press the note. Then I set my outgoing timer with an initial delay of 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second. For the incoming message, I set the trigger to be the timer that I'd set earlier, and then I establish the rules. The rules basically just look at the value of GA, and depending on the value of GA, set the value of PP according to the color that I want. Once that's done, it sets GA back to zero. The outgoing message then sends the note on message back to the LED, the proper LED set by GB, with the velocity of PP, which determines the color of the outgoing message. Now we'll go ahead and demonstrate. In this example, I'm going to press it once, and you'll notice a red color. When I press the second button twice, it shows up as a yellow color. And then on the third button, I press it three times and it'll show up as a green color. Pressing one time or four times on the first button again turns off the LED. Thanks for watching, and we'll go ahead and post a copy of this project file for you in case you need it. But if you can't find it, go to www.bohm.com support and ask for it, and we'll send it to you. Thanks again.